It is the world famous Jiggy Jaguar Radio Program. iHeartRadio, our podcast is available at JiggyJaguar.com. 2 Central, 3 Eastern, 12 Pacific. And uh, thanks for joining us today here on the program. Getting with the program today. Trying to get it figured out. Trying to make some stuff happen. Randy Sutton will join us at the top of next hour. He'll be talking to us about the... He'll be... uh, I'd like to have law enforcement on this show that know what the hell they're talking about. Actually, guys who... who, um, Who are decent. Who are decent guys. I don't like to have a lot of garbage on this show as far as like you know i don't want a, a, a top coming on and being a yes man or whoever so we've got randy Sutton in the next hour talked about the pat roberts campaign um i haven't looked at the uh at the old uh the old internets today, because I kind of was, I thought I was sick this So I basically got, I basically got up within 20 minutes before we went on the air. <laughs> so, boop, 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 boop. what, what? It's like sometimes I thought my cell phone does that. What, what? I should have it set up. When it vibrates, it just says what what, but then it would only vibrate. But apparently, somebody in Washington D.C. now has Ebola. Now, yesterday, an NBC News cameraman tested positive in Liberia. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna stick him on a plane and we're gonna bring him back. I I don't understand. See this this is the deal with the Ebola. When I used to get deathly ill when I was little I used to joke with my mother and everybody else that oh I got the Ebola and everybody was always like ah (laughs) you don't have Ebola well nowadays if you were to do that you might actually have it why are they so desperate why in the world why in the world is, and I, I'm not going to blame this on Obama. I'm not going to blame this on, it's somebody in that administration. It's somebody in that administration that is so goddamn desperate to bring Ebola here, cause a gigantic outbreak, and kill a billion people for whatever reason. We had the situation where we ran down to, um, we had the doctors that were over in, in Liberia, and they're like, oh, they've got Ebola, we're going to bring him back here, and we're going to get him cured. Oh, okay. So they brought him back here, and they cured him. Fine, no problems. Nothing ever happened. They got cured of Ebola. Hey, they're fine. Dang it, didn't work. So then they went ahead and went over, and they grabbed, um, what was it, two more people brought him over? Did it again. Same thing happened. They got here to the fine walking the streets. Yay! Dang it, didn't work. So then some guy from Liberia traveled here in Texas, got it, and then all of a sudden a bunch of kids got it. And now all of a sudden we got a guy in Washington, D.C. who apparently has it. And in, um... An NBC News cameraman who went over to cover it now has it. And all of a sudden they're like, got to bring him back here. It's like, what is the deal? So apparently there is a guy by the name of Thomas Duncan. That must have been the guy in Texas. He came to the U.S. to marry his girlfriend. Apparently there's been five blunders. Pressure grows to restrict travel from Africa. I don't know why that never happened to begin with. 
CDC, we can't shut border. Of course they can. Was wearing protective gear, but splashed with something. This is all headlines from Drudge that I'm reading. Paper, the great catastrophe. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't a fucking kidding. Rapper crowd surfs in giant bubble to avoid catching. Report, inmate in Georgia County Jail being tested. Oh, my God. See, now that, that, that sh is just false flag. Bishop plans mass exorcism to drive out demons. Great idea. Ban flights from Ebola nations. Uh, yeah. Uh... Norman Lear admits inverse racism in good times. Of course. Jumping back on that racism train. You know what I think is great is that if we elected Obama, going up to the election, everybody's like, well, this is a racist country. And they elected Obama. And everybody's like, oh, racism is dead. There's more racism in this country now. Than there ever was before. Uh, hell of a deal. We're taking a timeout. Randy Sutton on the way here on the program.